Pent here to tell us a little more about the opportunities technology like this harbors is an expert from the Fraunhofer Institute for Wind Energy and Energy System Technology, Jochen Bard. Thanks for coming to join us on Tomorrow Today. Now, pump storage hydroelectric plants. You, we're seeing reinvigorated industrial landscapes, old mines that are suddenly being reused. Uh, surely there's a downside to this technology. Well, it is an excellent idea. We need more energy storage in the future and pump storage systems have a high efficiency. So um, it, is, it is a great idea to, to try and reuse um, existing infrastructure. Uh, however, we will need much more uh, energy storage in the future, maybe a thousand times more than what we have available today in pump storage, but it's a step in the right direction. Well, in a facility like this, uh, how much energy exactly is it producing? I mean, just so that the viewers get an idea for, for how much, is it enough for a small town, for a small city or? Well, well, um, 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 pump storage uh, power plant can provide electricity for a city of the scale of Berlin for several hours. So it's quite a large amount of energy that can be stored. Yeah, that's quite impressive. This is the kind of solution that, gener that Germany needs, you know, if it's going to make this massive transition to renewables, the Energiewende, now um, that they've promised to carry out over the coming decades. On Facebook, our viewer Sato Adriono says that supplying energy from renewables is actually simply a matter of will on the part of governments. Do you agree with that? We certainly need a very consistent energy policy over a number of decades in order to achieve what, what our targets are. But it is also depending on the contribution of all people in the country to save energy, use new technologies such as heat pumps, electric vehicles and so on. Well, among the different sustainable sources, you know, you have hydroelectric power and solar power, wind power, um, just to name a few, which do you think in the long run is going to win out? The energy solution in the future will not be one silver bullet. It will not be only one, one uh, supply system. We will have a mix of energy supply from solar and wind, which are the two most important ones, but also bioenergy plays an important role because it can be controlled. Um, and there's other uh, parts of the world who have other opportunities, geothermal, um, ocean energy, uh, hydropower. When you talk about bioenergy, you're talking about power to gas then? Power to gas or biogas uh, from fermentation process uh, are the options that we are currently uh, looking at. Mm -hmm. um, power storage for when the sun isn't shining and the wind isn't blowing, you know, the s storing the energy, that's really a, a major problem. Hydroelectric plants like the one in the report, they're one solution. What, what other kinds of solutions are out there for storing large yeah. amounts of energy yeah. on the scale we would need? Mm -hmm. Well, um, batteries, um, electrochemical batteries like lead-acid batteries or lithium-ion batteries, to name a new technology, are also very important for, in the form of electric vehicles or, or uh, stationary systems in houses. Uh, uh, and they will not be very big, but we will use very many of them. Other forms are chemical uh, storage systems uh, by using hydrogen or methane, and that can be uh, done by using the existing gas network that we already have. Well, uh, supply is just one aspect of this equation. The other is going to be consumer behavior. What can individuals do to actually improve this sort of energy supply balance? Well, everybody can reduce the electricity consumption by simply buying very efficient appliances. When you buy a new fridge or you buy a new TV, just pay attention to the energy consumption. We have reduced our consumption at home by maybe two thirds uh, by now, step by step. Wow, two thirds. That's a, that's a lot. Thank you very much for joining us on Tomorrow Today.